Hello everyone, this is Kiki, and this video is me turning Nerdy Crafter into her very own Pokemon. Um, I had the idea some time ago to try and turn different YouTubers into Pokemon just for fun. I had initially thought of turning them into, you know, personalized versions of actual Pokemon that already exist. Um... But I decided it would be more fun to create a brand new Pokemon based on the YouTuber themselves. So that's what I'm doing here. I took Turtles, and Burbs, and Nerdy, and Purple and Orange, and mashed it all together and made a Pokemon. Um, I did try to kind of make it Pokemon-esque in style, but it is also still very much my own style as well. But, uh, yeah, it was- I had been sort of binge-watching a bunch of different people reacting to Jaden Animation's Pokemon playthrough videos, her Nuzlocke videos, and I was like, I want to draw Pokemon! And so I had asked on several different medias for suggestions for Pokemon, but I knew it would take a while to get the suggestions, and I was like, I want to draw Pokemon now, and I was like, <gasps> What if I draw Nerdy as a Pokemon? Because one of the places I asked was on their Nerdy Patreon Discord. I was like, I'm gonna make Nerdy a Pokemon. So, doing the sketch and the line work, I did sort of on my own, and, and struggled a little bit to figure out how to fit the different bits that I wanted to fit, and make it feel a little more like Jackie, uh, and I, uh, I feel like I kind of got it to a good spot. I had some help from the other, from the other grains, and once, once I added sort of like the, the shelmet, essentially, to represent the beanie, and adjusted the feathers to kind of look like her hair, yeah, it, it started coming together, and then I was like, I had, I had shared the sketch, I believe it was, on the Discord, and one of the others was like, I'm sorry, I ruined your picture. Um, and they had, they had scribbled different things because I had said that I was having trouble making it feel like Jackie. And honestly, it made me really laugh, uh, first of all, because it was brilliant. And second, they had put in the Egyptian eye, and I was like, that's right! She's, she's, she's there! She's got the, the Egyptian thingy! I can add that in! So I did the, I did the little Egyptian eye thing, and, um, I do actually have a reference sheet that shows the back of said Pokemon here, and if you actually look at the pattern of the shell on the back, it is very loosely reminiscent of the, I believe it means life, uh, but it's the, the little cross with the loop on the top instead of just a straight stick. Um, I don't remember the actual name for it, but I believe it, it's, uh, if, if I remember correctly, it uh, represents life. But yeah, so that's also a little Easter egg in there that you can't see in this particular thing. But uh, yeah, so you have the salty salt turtle and the salty burb. Because Angel is her salty chicken. Uh, that's why she has the sort of cockatoo mohawk thing going on. And then I had to include the beanie look there. And I was like, well, what type do I make her? Well, I mean, she's, you know, dark in her soul. Well, I'll just let her say that. Even though my heart is dark like my soul. That is bull hunk. So I was like... But I don't necessarily want to make her a dark type because she makes creatures of darkness as well. And dragons. So she's a dragon type. But she also loves colors. I couldn't find a gift for this one. Um, so she's a fairy too. So she's a dragon fairy. Because I can. And because dragon fairy is like a badass typing that is super OP and you cannot beat the salt. Because the salt is all powerful. Um, but once I got to the line work, um, I decided I was going to stream the coloring of it on Twitch. 
and the mod grain on the Discord decided to directly tell Jackie that I was doing this and she showed up in the stream and I was freaking out. Um, I was like, can I ride it? I was like, yeah, you could probably ride it. Probably. I mean, I figure it'd be pretty big. I mean, other people in the chat were like, oh, it could be small and you'll like fit in your pocket. I'm like, that would be cute. But I, I was already kind of imagining it being like the same height as Jackie at her five foot. Um, but I figure, you know, with how it's kind of like standing up in its salty pose, and when it's just kind of like relaxed and sitting there and chilling, five foot, but when it's in its full salt, it's six foot. But yeah, could totally ride it, Jackie, don't worry. Um, I did come up with some Pokédex entries. I uh, decided to do three versions because I miss when there are three versions of the games. Um, but yeah, so I will read those off to you. I am not going to attempt a Pokédex voice because that will not go well and I haven't actually heard the Pokédex voice in a while. Um, so, number one, Nerdy Mon, named by Jackie. Nerdy Mon's claws are sharp and used mainly for digging into salt stone deposits, which it enjoys eating as a snack, as well as digging out a nest to sleep out of. Number two. Many find Nerdy Mon to be standoffish species, as they easily get angered when things don't work out right. Here, and come and fight us! Put your hand up! No. They have been witnessed to be gentle and kind on many occasions as well, though. No, don't fight me, I'm fragile! Number three. Nerdy Mon enjoys swimming in the ocean during harsh storms and flying through the rainbows which peer after. This allows a layer of salt to dry on them, which they lick off later. Get your salt together. Now, as I sort of briefly stuck in there, um, Jackie did decide to call this Nerdy Mon. I, I let her name it as it is her. I guess I just created a Pokemon sauna for her. Uh, that's it's it's her Pokesona. <laughs> so yes. Ner Nerdy Mon is the official name by Jackie. Um, decided to give it a special move, its very own, uh, her very own attack, which I called Intense Salt. Come here and fight me if you have a problem! Come on! The dried salt on their body forms into sharp shards, striking the opponent. It never misses. And this, of course, is the evolved form. I have not drawn the baby form, the teeny tiny adorable form of saltiness, but I did give it a name, and its name is Saltlo. So, you know, feel free to imagine what that looks like. Little, little baby salt Jackie. But, um, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this, and you know, when I was doing it, talking with the other grains and stuff like that, we were having fun and joking around, and it was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed uh, getting back on Twitch and streaming again. I haven't really streamed the last, like, two or three weeks, because it's been crazy. Um, but hopefully, starting these next few weeks, I will be streaming at least once every weekend. Uh, so yeah, that'll be fun. But I hope you enjoyed this. I did, and, and I don't have any other information really written down. I do plan to do more YouTubers as Pokemon though, because this was really fun, uh, and I think it's only right that I do Sika next. Sika is Jackie's sister, and you know, they do videos together. You will have seen her in the meme moments. And uh, yeah, so that'll happen at some point. I'm not sure when, still trying to work the details of that in my head. But yeah. So I'm really happy with how with how Nerdy Mon came out. Um, oh, I will say one more thing uh, about uh, the design. Uh, Jackie's favorite colors are purple and and orange, so I tried to incorporate both of those. Uh, but she's also got her signature Bulbasaur beanie, so I incorporated the green from that as well. I felt it fit best on the shell. Um, and then of course. It's got the, the angel bits in it, so the wings and the, the feathers on the tail and stuff. Um, but, you know, it's a fairy. I was like, how do I fit 
more of the fairy aspect into it. So like the top part of the wings are feathers. Um, but like when it actually wants to fly, like the rest of the wing forms out of salty magic. Because why not fairies and dragons and salt? Um, but uh, uh, yeah, it had to rework the shell a little bit uh, because I wanted it to sort of look like there was a sort of heart design on the top because you know she has she's dark in her soul but she loves colors so I had to try to fit I, I, I tried to meme it a little bit um, but it was fun and and I enjoyed it and I will be trying to do more youtubers as Pokemon <laughs> because you know it was fun and yeah this is a thing So yes, this was my first time turning a person into a Pokemon, and it was a lot of fun. Like I said, I think three other times in the video so far. Um, coming up with the quick little Pokedex entries and the stuff like that was pretty fun too. Amusingly, I have not Englished number one once in- what? There it is! Once. I knew it would happen if I mentioned it. Good grief. But yes, if you don't know Nerdy Crafter somehow, uh, go and check her out. She does crafty reviews and stuff like that. And it's just absolutely fun to watch. And uh, if you enjoyed this, then check out some of my other videos. I've uh, got other Pokemon arts that I've done and Zelda and some original stuff as well. And uh, yeah, maybe hit the subscribe button and join me on my arty journey into the future and whatever else that I may come up with cuz who knows at this point till the next time bye